from Star Television Network in Freetown. This is the National News Bulletin. Hello and welcome. I am Leonora Jawara. First, we start off with the top stories. The Deputy Minister of Defence, retired Colonel Murano Masakoi, together with the Chief of Defence Staff of the ISLAF, Lieutenant General Sule Sise, during a visit to stakeholders of the Kumrabai Mamaila in the Tonkolili district, have identified an agricultural site for a lease of 5,000 acres of land for rice production and productivity. For farmland, for the agricultural project, for the Armed Forces Agricultural Unit. We will try to acquire like 5,000 acres of land, but for a start, maybe we will get for start with 2,000 acres of land. We will cultivate this the next planting season. Osman Ishiaka, Director and CEO United Bank for Africa, has described the 2020 Bankers Award of the Year by the Bankers Magazine, a leading global finance news publication, as some of the converted accolades the UBA still continues to scope as a result of the bank's efforts in promoting financial inclusion. This, in terms of innovativeness, in terms of diversity, as well as financial inclusion. People's Alliance for Reproductive Health Organization has engaged media practitioners on sexual reproductive health reporting at the YMCA conference hall in Freetown. High rate of teenage pregnancy, high rate of uh, sexual and gender-based violence, and uh, all these are as a result of the lack of uh, awareness. The, the Kenema Government Secondary School emerged winners of the Ibrahim Brahma Swangis Trophy Inter-secondary schools quiz and debate competition, courtesy of the chief executive of FISA, National Public Procurement Authority, Ibrahim Brahma Swale. For me, as part of this team, I thought it fits that bringing this back into the annual activities of students or PPs across Kenema district can be a lot of a thing and can aid the president in his entire dream to have a quality education. And in sports, the Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association unveils their head office at the Sierra Stevens Stadium in Freetown. One all these making the headlines. Now let's get you details of the news. The Deputy Minister of Defence, retired Colonel Murano Masakoi, accompanied by the Chief of Defence Staff of the Republic of Sierra Leone and Forces, Lieutenant General Sule Sese, as part of the Army's desire to undertake large-scale agricultural productivity for the military to address food self-sufficiency, as on Friday, December 4th, paid a visit to stakeholders of Komrabai Mamaila in the Tonkolili district where they have identified an agricultural site for a lease of 5,000 acres of land for rice production and productivity. Our defense correspondent, Abdul Rahman Kamara, has more and in our reports. The Deputy Minister of Defense, retired Colonel Murana Masakoi, accompanied by the Chief of Defense Staff of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Sule Sese, as part of the Army's desire to undertake large-scale agricultural productivity to address food self-sufficiency, has on Friday, December 4, 2020, paid a visit to stakeholders of Kumrabai Mamila in Tonkolili District, where they have identified an agricultural site for a lease of 5,000 acres of land for rice production and productivity. Retired Colonel Murana Masakoi, while addressing local natives of Yoni Banachivdom in the Tonkolili district, said that government will make agriculture a lucrative and enterprising business for those involved in it, including young people across the country. He revealed that as part of the army's desire to drive towards full self-sufficiency, they are progressively moving towards large-scale agricultural productivity and growth, and their visit could be the beginning of such progressive development. We will try for interpret His Excellency the President Brigadier retired Dr. Julius Madabio in vision. 
The military, we don't see, say, government, they spend a lot of money for buy rice for the soldiers, both take home rice and also operational rice. So one of we aspiration, that is the Ministry of Defense aspiration, is to ensure that we capacitate the agricultural unit so that we go start for produce rice for WSEF and also maybe assist other sister security uh, sectors. That is the essence. Now that make we care today for can acquire this land so that we go start production. On his part, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Sule Sese, thanked the people of Kumarabe Mamila for their warm hospitality, noting that for a very long time, importation of rice has been a key challenge, especially for the economy of the nation, with a new paradigm shifting from the Army's initiative towards full self-sufficiency. Today in Kumarabe Mamila, one of the areas that we identify for farmland, for the agricultural project, for the Armed Forces Agricultural Unit. We will try to acquire like 5,000 acres of land, but for a start, maybe we will get for start with 2,000 acres of land we will cultivate this the next planting season. We will answer to the clarion call of His Excellency the President, you know, for self-sufficiency, you know, in the Republic of Sierra Leone, you know. Of course, we know we, 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 we primary role now for provide, you know, um, for protect you know, the people of this country, but over and above, I think also, we can also contribute to other, you know, agriculture, to other development of the country. And one being the agriculture, we feel say very, very important. You know, the people of this country will need for be self-sufficient in terms of our staple food. A stakeholder of Kumra by Mamela in the Tonkolele district commended the strides made by the military driving towards achieving the dream of His Excellency President Julius Matherbu in addressing the huge cost of rice importation. This is a very, very good initiative where the military can with we, we appreciate the government for the, for the actually choose the community for saying that they can do the agriculture. We really, really appreciate and glad for that. And but we get a, a, a whole, a whole small what we give them because we are one we elder brother away they out of this country when I'm the champion this particular family in world. But by God in power, within these days, we give them the answer. Right. Actually, what you think? What you think? We, we appreciate because all the all the uh, the social corporate responsibilities we say in the Gwi, that they will like like they can make the road inside the car inside. Uh, then, they, then they employ the tractor drivers them because yeah. we get an IR. Then they even empower the youth them. Okay. Medical uh, facility, all the things that they send in the county and IR. And you know, the, the most important one, if you then come with 200 amis then IR, then 200 amis then, then they pay them by month. The cash, the flow, and the tongue. It could be recalled that in his incoming address as the newly chief of defense staff of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Sule Sese committed his administration working towards annexing the agricultural unit of the army. Abdul Rahman Kamal reporting. The managing director and chief executive officer, United Bank for Africa, Usman Ishiaka, has described the 2020s Bankers Award of the Year by the Bankers Magazine, a leading global finance news publication published by Financial Times, as some of the coveted accolades, the UBA still continues to scope as a result of the bank's efforts in promoting financial inclusion. There is more on that report. You most welcome to Star Television. For the purpose of this interview, uh, I'd like to know who am I talking to? Thank you, Abdurrahman. My name is Usman Isiaka, the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of United Bank for Africa, Syria. MD, recently the bank won an award, the 2020 Bankers Award of the Year. This coincided immediately after your short arrival in the country as Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of the United Bank for Africa. Do you take this credit? Well, uh, thank you, Abraham, once again. Uh, I will take this credit. The credit belongs to all staff of UBA Senegal. And it indeed belongs to uh, the UBA group that has been giving us the guidance as a global financial institution to ensure that we excel in the countries where we are operating. And for your information, as you have seen, 
the award is not just for UB Sierra Leone, it is actually for six subsidiary of uh, UBA across our present country in Africa. Well, the, the principal reason for the award uh, is in terms of innovativeness, in terms of diversity, as well as financial inclusion. And if you look at it properly, if you look at UBA, you can see that we are well pleased and we have actually been leading the path in terms of innovativeness as well as a financial inclusion for the banking problems. Uh, we have developed various products ranging from chat banking to mobile banking, uh, USSD banking, as well as other products that make transfer of money very easy and convenient uh, for people across all our present country in Africa. Taking a bank for from what? Well, uh, uh, thank, thank you. I will say once again, uh, my vision uh, derives from the global vision that the bank has actually set for itself. Uh, UBA, as part of our group, as our global vision, we intend and uh, we aspire to be the undisputed leading and dominant financial service institution in Africa. So, taking from that vision, my vision also for Sierra Leone is also to make UBA Sierra Leone the undisputed leading and dominant financial service institution in Sierra Leone within the shortest time possible. And to me, I'm looking at the time frame of more than three years. That do, is my vision. Do, uh, I will say that every, every people can dream and can have vision what they want to achieve. But what makes the distinction is your execution capability, your customer service strength, and that's what distinguishes UBA from the pack. Uh, in UBA, the number one priority for us is customers. We say customer first. Customer is the reason for our existence. And when you have customer as the cornerstone of your strategy, it gives you a competitive advantage that will always put you at hedge. So in UBA, we continue, we continue to aspire to give our customers the best of services in terms of uh, digital banking platform, in terms of credit facility, in terms of collection, and everything that you need to do as it relates to banking. That's why on a regular basis, we come up with new products and services in order to make banking uh, a, a, a unique experience for our customer at every point in time. Uh, you will recall that uh, the Chad Banking, UB was the first bank to them was the first bank in Africa to develop that product, that when we realized that uh, uh, the bulk of place, the, the, time, the place where people dis spend the bulk of their time is on the social media. See people chatting on, the, on their phone, they are using uh, Facebook Messenger or using WhatsApp. So you be invested hugely in, in an application or a virtual bank platform, which we call you that enables people to be able to do banking transactions on their palm. Either the way you are chatting with your friends on the, on the Facebook or on the WhatsApp, that is the same way you chat with Liu, and Liu will do your banking transaction for you. It so can open an account for you, it can confirm your account balance for you, it can pay your bill. Now we are doing extra payment. You can do your extra payment on our uh, UK, uh, Liu, 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 Liu virtual banking program. You can do your push and pull transaction through the same platform. You can buy airtime on that same platform. So we are making banking very convenient for our customers. So when you have a bank that places premium on customer service, ensure that their service is excellent, then you will not be afraid when other banks also have the goal to be the number one. It's a risk. Okay. Whoever is the smartest, the sharpest, and the most focused will get there. So we are determined that we continue to come up with strategy initiative and then we have a strong will to execute those strategies to ensure that we achieve uh, the objective. Well, the banking landscape in Sierra Leone is very promising. The financial inclusion is still less than, is still about less than 25%. So which means every bank actually has an opportunity. So if UBS say you want to be number one, then any other bank will aspire. Because the number of people that are yet to be captured into the banking uh, sector is still very high. We have over 75% of people that are yet to experience banking. So 
the banking sector has a lot of opportunity, so I will encourage all of us as bankers that we should continue to develop products and services that will increase the financial inclusion in line with the, bank, the strategic intent of the Bank of Sierra Leone and the government of Sierra Leone. So that is for the, my impression about the, the industry. And for the, as we are in this festive season, okay, I can't but wish all my customers a Merry Christmas uh, and, and for our staff that have been very, very wonderful to ensure that give us all the accolades that we have received. I want to say thank you so much for all the good job that you are doing. Let's keep doing it in line with until we get to our promised land. And that promised land is we want to be the undisputed leading and dominant financial service institution in Africa. People's Alliance for Reproductive Health, a reproductive health advocacy organization, has concluded an engagement with media practitioners on sexual reproductive health reporting at YMCA Conference World, Fort Street in Freetown. Alfie Bayo was there and he files in this report. According to the chairman of PARA for the PO Koma, said this engagement with media practitioner is aimed at schooling journalists on how to report on sexual productive health matters, which includes sexual violence. He noted that the way the media sometimes frames sexual violence leads to stigmatization and unintentional bias against the survival. Uh, we have high maternal mortality in this country. Uh, we have high rate of teenage pregnancy, high rate of uh, sexual and gender-based violence, and uh, all these as a result of the lack of uh, awareness, the lack of uh, knowledge on uh, sexual and productive health and rights issues you know, among the larger populace, especially those who are the most vulnerable, that is women and adolescent girls. The media, without the media, our voices cannot be amplified to the masses. Our voices cannot be amplified to the national, uh, to the national government and to the, to the populace as a whole, as well as international partners. And um, we have seen that uh, we need the media because uh, they have been reporting on sexual and gender-based violence. Sexual violence refers to any sexual activities where consent is given freely, which according to the public relations officer of PARA, conceives is quite prevalent and needs to be dealt with. He added that having an engagement with the media is helped in that regard. An engagement with um, senior media practitioners, apparently producers and editors of um, radio station, television station, and newspapers, to have an engagement with them on our proposed um, legislation, proposed campaign for the legislation of a um, safe motherhood law in Syria. The media has pivotal role when it comes to um, policy or legislation of a law. Um, first, part of what we have wanted to do was to create this environment where are in the media will have clear understanding about the mandate of power, what we want to do, and also the media to have a clear understanding of what sexual reproductive rights are and what really the entails, what we intend doing, what we've done over the past couple of years. One of the media practitioners for the Moriba Conte of the Calabas newspaper registered his appreciation for short engagement, noting that reporting on such issues before now has led to prejudice and victims shaming, sending the wrong impression to the public. It has been a very ethical one and, um, for us to come and learn about sexual reproductive rights, and um, which a lot of us as journalists will be reporting on those issues, but we don't have the um, required knowledge about reporting on those issues and today we are here for us to come and learn and I think we are really learning. Words such as sexual scandals, sexual intercourse, victims should be avoided. Accepted words such as sexual assaults, abuse, survival should be utilized. For Star TV News compiled by Alfie Barry, Isabella Stanley reports. While you're still watching the news bulletin here on Star TV, now, the Kenema Government Secondary School has emerged winners of the Inter-Secondary Schools Quiz and Debates Competition, courtesy of the Chief Executive of FISA, National Public Procurement Authority, Ibrahim Brahim Aswari, on the theme, Building Environmental Sustainability Through Market-Based Innovation and Skills Acquisition for Transparent, Fairer and Competitive Investment in Sierra Leone, urging their opponents with a huge marginal difference. 
Here is more on that report. So in this, I would like to establish my reasons why I support the motion that indeed poor public procurement in MBA is a catalyst that has slowed down the economic growth and development of Sierra Leone. Government Secondary School Kenema has emerged winners of the Inter-Secondary School Quiz and Debate Competition, organized courtesy of the Chief Executive Officer, National Public Procurement Authority, Ibrahim Bremaswari, on the theme, Building Environmental Sustainability Through Market-Based Innovation and Skills Acquisition for a Transparent, Fairer and Competitive Investment in Sierra Leone, urging their opponents with an effective indifference. According to the Chief Executive, National Public Procurement Authority, Ibrahim Bremaswari, the Inter-Secondary School Debate Competition is a aim at deepening knowledge on financial inclusion and financial awareness. In his closing remarks, the Chief Executive NPPA, Ibrahim Bemaswari said, it's been a perennial undertaking to support education in Kenema as it's thrust to develop the human capital. He commended the participants and described the outputs as impressive and called another participant of the quiz competition not to despair but remain steadfast in their academic work. Noting that the aim of the quiz exercise is to broaden the student horizon in terms of their cognitive ability to was a growth and development of their academic career. The team lead, Government Secondary School Kenema, attributed their winning due to their teamwork and the level of preparedness ahead of the final and committed the winning to the entire school. Well, I'm part of the His Excellency, the President's dream. Uh, when he was campaigning, one of the things he promised the people of Sierra Leone is to provide free quality education. And when he said quality, it entails a lot. One of the things that has been lacking in our schoolings across the country is how we can improve our kids for better learning. Quiz and debate are ways of giving children exposure. And this has been lacking for a very long time. And for me, as part of this team, I thought it fits that bringing this back into the annual activities of students or peoples across Kenema district can be a lot of a thing and can aid the president in his entire dream to have a quality education across Sierra really. uh, This is a going concern, as I said entirely on in my speech. I will ensure as long as I live, year in, year out, we'll have this competition for kids so they can be able to express themselves and see how we can improve our learning situation across the country. Let's be mindful that no amount of resources you leave for your kids will make them better people. The only thing you can leave for a child is to ensure they have quality education. And if His Excellency, the President, has seen it as the only good that he can give to our, our, our kids, then I'm part of that dream and I want to see how those dreams can be actualized. I'm providing this kind of platform for our kids across the, the country. I think it's a laudable one and it will encourage competition across kids in, in this part of the country. Be mindful, wise people are coming from the East. And that's why I think the East needs to take the lead. The runners-up congratulated their counterparts and commended their resilience and described their collective team spirit as pretty much astonishing, other than that the outcome of the quiz final will surely not dampen their spirits, but rather use the occasion to improve on their mystic. Okay. Of my 
five schools, Holy Trinity, Henrietta Secondary School, Government Secondary School, College Secondary School, and Amadea Secondary School, with the Anzaru Islamic Secondary School participated in the quiz and debating competition, with the Government Secondary School emerge as winner, with Ufa Kuruma emerge as best quizzer, and al Hassan Bar of the Anzaru Islamic Secondary School emerge as best debater. Abdul Rahman Kama reporting. Let's round up the news bulletin. Let's see what's happening in the sporting world as the Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association unveils their head office at the Sierra Stevens Stadium in Freetown. Our sports correspondent, Hilton John, has more for you. Hello, everyone, welcome to the sporting news. The Sierra Leone Coaches Association has officially opened the Secretariat at the Sierra Stevens Stadium. According to one of the representatives in the ceremony, the former captain of the national team, Mohamed Callan, said these secretariats will help to improve the knowledge of the coaches and solve the solution for them in international assignment. Here is a report by Isabella Stan. The Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association office unveiling ceremony was described by the speaker during the program of not only being unprecedented, but an historical moment for the Sierra Leone football and for football coaches specifically. So on behalf of all football fanatics, the journalists, the only one partners, referees and everybody, it's a pleasure for me, I want to say thanks to the chairman, the interview chairman and your executive for giving this opportunity for do the unveiling of the Coaches Association logo. Thank you very much, guys. Logo, you can join me for logo the unveiling. The General Secretary of the Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association, Mohamed Lamin Kamara, started off by thanking the past executive for setting the pace, which he said resulted in the massive historic unveiling ceremony on Saturday. He went to thank the football governing body, FIFA, CAF, and the Sierra Leone Football Association for providing the funds through the FIFA, CAF, COVID-19 relief funds. Coach Abu asked for more opportunities for the football coaches across the country and also called on more young Sierra Leoneans on board, which have the coaching techniques, to join the association so that they can, they can be able to tap the many on top football talents the country has. Noel Katima Oton, chairman of the Central Parade Football Club and chairman of all 14 Premier League clubs, praised the coaches for a job well done. He called on them all to embrace the development and live in unity for the progress of the association and coaches in the country. Sports Ambassador Charlie Bio Jr. expressed his continued desire to work with the coaches in the country. He lauds the office unveiling as the historical moment and a step in the right direction for football in the country. Charlie Bio emphasized that the office of the Sports Ambassador is apolitical and by virtue of that will continue to lobby whenever necessary means to support and promote the coaches' dreams whenever called upon. Ibrahim by Assistant Secretary at the Ministry of Sport while representing the Minister of Sport asserts the ministry continue to support promoting the agenda of all sporting disciplines in the country. He said football is an involving sport and as a ministry they are at all times open to create an enabling environment for the Sierra Leone Football Association, for the Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association. The Vice President of the Sierra Leone Football Association, Slafa Brahma Manzola Kamara, in his keynote address expressed delight in the development made by the Sierra Leone Football Coaches Association. He pledged the Football Association continue to support towards promoting the status of the coaches in the country. 
this is my constituency. This is where I belong. I think, uh, I mean, I'm a suitable person to represent the situation at this moment. Of course, um, John Dunn said a lot of things about um, causes. I would just want to reaffirm that. One may say talk something like that. We have found all of those. Um, the, as we can see, for the past six months, the narrative has changed when it comes to Seattle football. We are ready to develop the game. It's, um, it's a, it requires dedication. It requires tolerance. Requires openness. I think quite recently the FA is trying to do that. We can see what we did was we get to almost all, almost all of the categories. And a 15, 17, 20, and the senior team. We see some improvement. I was in uh, Morovia, still we under 17, participation, excellent, amazing. Uh, I think it's because the effort of open up, don't, and don't get the motivation, don't get the belief that we have excellent people who have the capacity, the coaches, the coaches can take us to another level. He added that the Football Association over the past six years have been working assiduously for the upliftment of the coaches' status in the county. For Star TV Sports, I am Isabella Stanley. Good development coming up there from the CLA Coaches Association. Congratulations. Zabu Sanko, an executive for them to get the secretariat. We hope that other associations within the sporting arena will follow suit of what the coaches have demonstrated. In the international team, Arsenal Football Club went down tuning in the answer of Tottenham Hotspur over the weekend. Harry Kane and Song score the decisive goal. Here is the highlight of the match. Bayern, good running here by the Spaniard. Lofts it in. Lifted away first time by Steven Bergwijn. Now it's Tierney. Does really well to keep it alive. Party! Aubameyang was going for the acrobatic. Tottenham clear their lines and Kane sets Son away for the first time. Tottenham's most dangerous players. Son goes from distance, oh my goodness me! What a fantastic goal by Hyung Min Son. Spurs lead the North London derby by a goal to nil. Holding sends it forward to Saka and now Lacazette through the middle. Good ball for Bayer in. it's behind Aubameyang. And Aurier steps in and Tottenham break away on the counter. Look at the white shirts, it's four against two literally here. Son. Can Tottenham extend their lead at the end of the first half? Is Kane! And they do! And Harry Kane becomes the leading goal scorer in North London derbies. Unbelievable finishing and attacking power. You've got to give them credit for that. That's all for sports. For today's news, Martin Liana Machawa in the studio. And that's all we have for you in the National News Bulletin Fire. Thank you so very much for watching. I am Leonora Jawala. Please stay with us for more programs.